Well, now this is a big escalation. Uh, woo. Trump is going to announce that there's a national emergency on coronavirus. So what does that mean for us? Well, it means we are taking now drastic steps to try to stem the spread of the coronavirus. President Trump today is expected to declare a national emergency under the Stafford Act in response to the groaning, growing huh, excuse me, coronavirus pandemic. Trump has announced a press conference at 3 o'clock today this afternoon, and it's anticipated that he will declare a national emergency as concerns over the outbreak wreak havoc and continue to disrupt American life. The government is being told that they should expect 150 million people to be infected out of that 3%. This is what the official reports are saying, that they should expect 3% out of that 150 million to be deleted, to be fatal. Uh, yeah, let's not mince words. Let's not beat around the bush. Help me out here, guys. Give me a like, a thumbs up, a comment, a share, a subscribe, and let YouTube know, hey, you know, this is history. This is what's going on. We need to know about this. Imagine if everybody had known about this and everybody was able to discuss things from the beginning, YouTube. Thank you very much for stifling people's free speech because we're not millionaires that are able to make you millions of dollars. Therefore, our voices don't matter. Yeah. My voice was one of many that was calling out for a 30 to 40 35, 40-day ban, uh, I mean, uh, quarantine for people because it wasn't long enough, and here we're finding out it's not, and people are still talking about a 14-day quarantine. 14 days is not enough. Come on, let's let our voices be heard. Let's let people discuss this thing that is affecting everybody, YouTube. Please? Hmm? Can we do that? Can we be adults here? Can we discuss it? Thank you. The announcement comes as major sporting and other events have been canceled uh, off for... Po uh, bleh. The announcement comes as major sporting and other events have been called off or postponed. Businesses across country institute telework policies. Government buildings and schools shutter and other disruptions rock the nation amid efforts to curb the transmission of the virus. How does this work? Well, the staff, Robert T. Stafford Disaster Relief and Emergency Assistance Act allows the White House to mobilize the Federal Emergency Management Agency, FEMA. Yes, famous FEMA and direct federal aid to states hit by disasters and health crisis. According to Bloomberg News, Senate Democrats urged Trump to invoke the Stafford Act and other requests that they say would free up more than $42 billion in funding for states available in the Disaster Relief Fund. Uh, yes. And it will be not much needed funding. What does it mean? Such a declaration would allow a state to request a 75% cost share for expenses such as emergency workers, testing, medical supplies, and vaccinations, Democrats said in a letter sent to the president. States will get monetary assistance with being able to do the emergency things that they need to be able to do. Trump hinted on Thursday that he may use such a measure to combat this pandemic. We have things that I can do. We have very strong emergency powers under the Stafford Act, he said. I have it memorized practically as to the powers in that act, and if need, if I need to do something, I'll do it. I have the right to do a lot of things that people don't even know about. Uh, yes, let's hope that these powers don't get overreaching. Uh, sometimes in situations like this, history has shown us that the powers, while they are valid at the time, they tend to get oversweeping, and once someone has power, it's a little bit harder for them to give it up as well. But I don't have too much of a fear in that. It's just a possibility. But yes, time to shut up and uh, shut up and put up. It's time for us to quit being Democrats and quit being Republicans and just be freaking Americans and help each other out and flatten the damn curve. Wash your hands, sanitize, keep a bit of social distance. Flatten the curve refers to the healthcare system and the point when we overload the healthcare system. If all of the people get sick all at once and they go into the healthcare system, the healthcare system will be overloaded. It is the curve on the number of patients in the uh, hospital system that the hospitals can take care of. If that curve gets too big, then there's a domino effect, and it's going to be horrible. It'll be like Italy is, where they have to decide who they save, and there will be an age restriction on beds. So flatten the curve is not something to stop coronavirus. It's just something to slow down the spread, so that way the healthcare system can handle the influx. That's all. So flatten the curve. That's going to be good advice all year round. Anyways... Oh, history is going to judge us, isn't it? This is going to be a drastic time that is going to be memorized and memorialized in history forever. 
Generations will remember this, and we will be talking to children. Where were you when the coronavirus hit? I can see it now. I love you guys. Give me some engagement on this. So that way more people can see it. That way our voices matter a little bit more. And maybe YouTube will get the idea. I love you guys, and I will see you on the next one.